During a meeting between Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and his French counterpart, there were lots of handshakes, hands on backs and thumbs ups. The two leaders are keen to send a clear message. They are ready to put their issues behind them after a failed submarine deal pushed relations between their two countries to an all-time low last year. My presence here following the invitation of the president represents a new start for our country's relationship. Australia's relationship with France matters. Trust, respect and honesty matters. It's welcomed news for the French president. Paris was enraged following Canberra's decision to scrap a 33 billion euro deal to buy French-built submarines last September. This in favour of developing vessels powered with US nuclear technology with the help of Britain and the United States. The new deal made secretly by former Prime Minister Scott Morrison pushed Paris to temporarily withdraw its ambassadors from the US and Australia, while Macron accused Morrison of lying. The French president struck a much warmer tone Friday. This visit, which comes after our telephone conversation a couple of weeks ago, right after your election win, and after the moments we spent together on the sidelines of the NATO summit in Madrid, marks the will to rebuild a trust-based relationship. Albanese has wasted no time in rebuilding relations with France. Shortly after coming to power in May, his government agreed to pay the French Navy a 555 million euro settlement for breaking the submarine deal. It's a small amount compared to the 33 billion euros France lost when Morrison broke the initial contract.